This is a 1982 Volkswagen Rabbit truck. Also referred to as the Caddy uh, once they started making them uh, outside the US. And then I think that was kind of adopted uh, a little bit with our language later on uh, with these trucks. So this thing is awesome. I love this little Volkswagen version of the everyday pickup truck. Uh, this one is a diesel 1.6 five speed. I believe this was a two owner car. The family that I purchased it from owned it since 1987. The man that owned it was a engineering professor and bought it because he wanted to learn more about diesels, which diesels have always scared me, so I applaud that. Volkswagen rated these in 1982 at about 52 horsepower and about, I think, 72 pounds of torque, somewhere in there. And this one is a five-speed, so five-speed probably doesn't get used very often. You know, the joke is going down the hill on five-speed, you can stay in it all day long. But in reality, uh, like a lot of the comments have said in this listing already, it's uh, you get a little bit of a grade and you're in third or fourth gear pretty quickly, which is true. But uh, you do get the gas mileage and it's a kick to drive and it's a 100% Volkswagen. And all of us who are watching this video probably had a Volkswagen or two in our day and can appreciate it. So a couple things that I really like about this truck is the interior was just so nice. And if you try and find make one parts for any of these things, it is very difficult. The headliner was replaced. It's not the original um, material, but it's color matching and it does the trick. When I got the car, the windshield had a pretty good crack in it. And so in order to do the headliner, you've got to have the windshield out. So we took the rear window out, the front window out, put the headliner in having new glass is always great they did a great job putting that in the rear window slider was an option and it's a nice option because as you're cruising down the road and you open up that rear window everything just kind of comes right back into the cab The wheels, when I got them, I'll post a picture. Um, they were in pretty bad shape. So I brought them down to West Salem Powder Coating, who've done some stuff for me before, and they do a fantastic job. They nailed these ones. They're just really pretty looking. I put the little chrome caps on them. And this one on the passenger front is a little loose i think there's a little uh spring in there that's missing if i remember there's uh four of them might be missing one so it makes a little bit of a noise as it rotates down the road it's been a couple comments about a vinyl piece that was in here um i took it out just to kind of show you that it's you know there's a little rust in there but wasn't hiding anything I'm not sure exactly what it was. It may have been to cover the battery. But um, in any case, when we got this car, it didn't take a whole lot to get it running. Um, a shop in Salem put a battery in it because we had it uh, delivered. And if you read earlier, the person that delivered it was the son of the owner. He delivered it up from California to us in Salem, dropped it off at a, at a good shop, and they put a battery in it. They, all they had to do is just prime the fuel injection and 
think that's about it. Um, and then it started up. They did a couple other things. It didn't have rear brakes when we got it, so they put new rear brakes on it. And then we did the fronts, we did rotors um, and pads. We did the valve cover gasket. Alternator's coming in pretty soon. It did check out bad. Um, it's got new belts, so unfortunately you gotta take those off uh, and we'll do that before the auction ends and get a new nice looking Bosch alternator on there. Uh, there was a comment previously about the power steering and we do have power steering on this. Power steering belt and the air conditioning belt uh, are, are one. And then somebody was asking for a picture of the AC. So I'm not sure if we can answer any questions there with what they're looking for. That's a fairly decent shot of the AC. Once we get the alternator off, I can get a better picture of the, of the compressor on the AC. Um, brake master cylinder was also replaced. The ignition switch was also replaced. When you leave the key in, uh, it draws a little power. So I always take the key out. Um, it actually illuminates the red seatbelt sign, which is kind of strange, but um, that's what happens. LX model. So Volkswagen had the base model, the LX, and then the sport truck. And this, of course, is the LX model. Uh, came with the tack, the optional sliding window, and uh, the five-speed. So as we crawl in here, you can see that there's a, there's a KC switch here for some fog lights that aren't on the car. Um, you can wire them up if you want to, but that's the toggle switch there. Glove compartment, pretty clean. Um, I don't believe the radio works. We'll check that out on the test drive in the next video. Uh, and then I've also got to double check the AC. It's been pretty cold here, so once we get it uh, going, we'll, we'll check that. But... 141,000 miles on the odometer on a diesel, which is great. Uh, this car was just so clean. A little bit about more about the um, history on this. When it was parked, I think around 2010, somewhere in there, um, it was parked undercover, uh, under um, protection, kind of, I believe, with a cover. And then I don't know if that was undercover. Um, but in any case, the thing I like about this so much is that there's just no major rust. I mean, there's pitting, there's some surface stuff kind of all over the place, but underneath it's just, you know, really well taken care of. Um, we got this cleaned up pretty good and you can see inside and there's nothing rusting there. Color's all there, just really cool. Moldings are good. You can see a little bit of uh, some of the black wearing off here on the chrome, some pitting on the chrome. Uh, wing windows, I think were actually an option too on this year. And these ones got sealed shut. So kind of unfortunate, but they were sealed up. Original bumpers. Original headlights, as far as I know. Uh, we put new skinny tires on it. Same stuff that's stock from the factory. Just nice and clean inside. Little imperfections here, but overall, just a nice looking example of the Volkswagen Rabbit truck. We'll look down the sides. You can see how straight those are. I really don't even see a door ding on this side. 
little compound there from a detail. Tailgate works, it's a little bit beat up, but the Volkswagen lettering looks pretty good. There's some imperfections on that as well, but uh, overall, just a really clean truck. Little ding here. These are original taillights. I mean, I'm happy that they're so, they're so nice because I don't know if I'd be able to find those. Looking down this side, again, I don't really see a whole lot of stuff. Um, you know, if you're interested in doing a repaint or a, a color change, this is a pretty good candidate. But um, I think this color combo works pretty good. The caramel interior with this color is just kind of cool. Regardless of what color these things are, they're, they're rare. I'll post a picture later on. This came with a canopy, so you're going to see some, uh, some roughness around here. But the nice thing about that is it did protect the bed. So the bed's in pretty good shape. This kind of looks like some spray foam. I don't know if it's hiding a hole or not, but I don't, I don't think so. I think, uh, I have no idea actually what that is, you know, what, what to comment on that. But some of the discoloring here, I don't know if that was put in there to uh, protect corrosion or something, but uh, in any case, it's in fairly good shape considering the vintage. So with the canopy, you know, you can see 